Welcome to How To Pam. Let's talk Linux, the channel that promotes professional computing with free open source software, and we're helping FOSS users find the answers. In this video, I will be showing you how to install the latest version of LibreOffice and also how to remove the unwanted old versions of LibreOffice that you have installed in your operating system. To begin with, we can get started by opening a web browser and going to LibreOffice online and going to the downloads of LibreOffice. And here we see we have LibreOffice 3.0 available now. And if we want, if we're on a Linux 64-bit system, we can download the deb. If you're using Fedora or something, you'll use RPM. We're going to use the deb file and let's click on the download. Just give that a second to download. It's telling me that we will go and save the file here in my downloads folder. You see it downloading there? It only takes a moment. When that download is complete, we can open a terminal and we can go into the downloads folder and we can say ls to that there it is there is what we downloaded how are we going to deal with that gz well i'll tell you to do with that you put in gunzip that is the linux command to unzip a gzip g unzip and then we'll copy this big long file name and paste it now this is only going to take off the first layer of compression and leave us with, let's put ls, we're left with now a tar file. It just took off the first layer of compression, the gz. Now we've got to untar this. So to do that, we have to put in tar, xvf, okay? And then copy and paste that file name in there and say okay to that. Now let's put the ls command again. And you see it created a folder here. Right there is a folder. We will want to change directory into that folder. Copy and paste it there and enter that. Now run the ls command again. And you see it created two folders, debs and readme. We want to go into the debs. So let's change directory and let's put the folder name and say enter to that. Now we do the ls, and you see we have a number of deb files here. They're all deb files. How do we deal with all those deb files? Well, I will tell you. From within that folder, just write sudo for admin administrative privileges, and then write dpack and the i option. Then tell it to do that for all the dot deb files. Okay, the asterisk above your number 8 key says to sudo unpack and install all of these deb files recursively. Say enter to that, give it your password, and there it goes. Give that a moment to install. Okay, it's finished there. Now we can get out of that directory. Change directory, press the shift key and go back to your home directory. Why did we want to install the new version of LibreOffice? Well, let us see which version of LibreOffice we have installed from our system repository. Okay, you see that? From my system repository, I have version 6.1.5.2. That actually is an updated version which receives regular updates of version 6.1, which was released four years ago in 2018. So we just installed the latest LibreOffice fresh release of 7.3, which is four years newer than the version I'm running right here from my system repository. Now this version is fine and it's very stable, but I'm missing out on the newest features that are available and have been released 
in the version over the last four years. So it is good to update if you want the latest features. Now let's see what happened because now I have two versions of LibreOffice. I have the 7.3 that I installed and I have the system, the old system repository installation, 6.1. Let's say where is LibreOffice? And it tells me, it tells me that LibreOffice is in user bin LibreOffice, which is Unix system resource folder bin files for executable LibreOffice. But it also tells me that 7.3 was just installed in Unix system resource files local bin, so a different location. So now I have two versions of LibreOffice, this version and this version. If you want to keep both, that is fine. If you want to get rid of the old version, I will show you how to do that. Now to get rid of the old version, many people think you just write sudo apt remove, maybe purge LibreOffice. Let's see what that does for us. Oh, well, if we do that, that will uninstall LibreOffice all and it will tell us that these programs are no longer necessary and we will gain 95.2 kilobytes only of disk space. That don't seem right to me. We better say no to that. Press the N there and enter. Let's try that again. Let's add to LibreOffice. Let's put a dash there and put base and say enter to that. Oh, that would remove a lot more. That would remove all of these programs which it would take LibreOffice all plus LibreOffice base and a few of these programs and then we could run apt remove to get rid of all these other programs that are no longer necessary and that would give us only 13.6 megabytes of disk space that don't seem right either because LibreOffice is an install that's almost 500 megabytes so that don't seem like we're getting rid of LibreOffice in its entirety here let's say no to that Let's try to change this base to common. Let's app get remove purge LibreOffice common. Say enter to that, now we're getting somewhere. That would no longer require all of these applications and it would remove all of this, all of these LibreOffice. And it would give us 337 megabytes of free disk space. That seems to be the answer. So if you want to remove the old version of LibreOffice, then the command is sudo app get, or if you're using an RPM, the similar command for your distro repository, remove purge LibreOffice common. And after you run that, then you will have to remove all these other programs that are not necessary by simply running sudo app remove. That will get rid of your old version of LibreOffice. Now, we do have a new version of LibreOffice. Where did that go? Where, where is that new version? Well, we found out that that new version was in the Unix system resource folders in the local. But where are all the files? Let's have a look here. Let's go into our system files, into the optional programs folder. This is where third party apps are usually stored. And you can see it put LibreOffice right here, right in there. So there we have LibreOffice installed. Check the properties on that. It is 628 megabytes in size. Now we can make a desktop launcher to that program and it's as simple as clicking on your desktop, choosing create a launcher, putting in LibreOffice-7.3, making a comment saying it's the latest, latest LibreOffice, and the command would then be Unix system resources folder local bin, and we better have a look here. It would be this here, 7.3 user local bin, 7.3 so we have to do that 7.3 give it an icon go to your icons here tell it you want libri or just office there's some office 7.2 7.3 there we go and give it a click oh it says market executable and there you are have a look here about libri office 
There we are, 7.3. There you have it. You have found out how to install the latest version of LibreOffice so that you don't have to run a version that's four years old. If you don't want the latest fresh release because of a few bugs, you might want to choose a slightly older version, as it says here, slightly older. It's been tested a little longer. You can do that as well. There are other older versions available if you would like to go back to an older version but that is how you do it i hope you've enjoyed that tutorial you found out how to download unpack install the latest version now you might wonder what do i do with all this that i downloaded and unpack they're sizable that's 180 megs this folder here is 186 megs so there is almost 400 megs there what can I do with that you don't need it now that it's installed click on it delete it click on that delete it if you want to save it save it somewhere but you don't need it it's all installed in your third party folder right there and it'll be fine hopefully you've enjoyed that tutorial and if you did enjoy that tutorial give us a thumbs up subscribe to our YouTube channel or give us a shout out on Twitter at how to Pam at Twitter and come and communicate with us there so thank you for watching another tutorial by how to Pam let's talk Linux the site that promotes professional computing with free open source software and we're here to help boss users find the answer